Hi guys, this is Meowmix. I'm just making a little tutorial real quick on how to set up multiple keyboards for one PC on local play for multiverses. Uh, I've gotten in touch with one of the tournament organizers for EVO and I have a basically a free alternative to the program uh, that they used to achieve this at EVO. Um, the program is called uh, DJ Last Night's Keyboard Splitter. This is the GitHub page, which you'll find in the description, but uh, essentially what this program does is it takes the inputs from multiple keyboards and it converts them into virtual Xbox 360 controllers that are then interpreted by the game. And it also uh, blocks all keyboard inputs from interacting with Windows so that there's, uh, you know, there's no interference that's going on. But uh, installing this is pretty simple it's got the prerequisites right here DirectX you know VC redist all this stuff right here um, and then the Xbox accessories driver pretty straightforward just click the links and install them I'm not gonna go through that right now and then um, once you go up here to the releases tab here this is where you'll download the, the zip file and uh, once you have that extracted this is what it's gonna look like here um, I'll go ahead and open this up for you real quick. And the first time you open it, it's also going to uh, probably prompt you to install a few different drivers that are also included. You can just go ahead and set those up as well and then everything should work right out of the box. So I have a preset already made that matches the default keyboard controls for multiverses. So uh, I'll include that as well. But basically you just go to presets and you go to import and you'll see it right here, I have it labeled as multiverses. You could just import that. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you how it works. I have two keyboards plugged in right now. Um, I'll just set this to two for now. And uh, what you do is you basically choose which one. So for the first keyboard, you click this little one here to detect the keyboard. You just press any key on it. It'll automatically hook it in. I'm going to go over to the second one here and I'm going to press a key on my second keyboard so it's able to, you know, tell the difference between the two different keyboards. And then I have it under, because you can't edit the default preset, so I have it just on the first one here. It's called Phase Shift Guitar. I'm assuming it's something for a Guitar Hero controller, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. And it'll automatically remap all of the keys where you've already, like I said, I've already mapped these so that they match up with uh, the default controls for keyboard and it basically converts them into the default controls for an Xbox controller. Um, this is really all the setup that's required. Once you're done setting all of this up, you can just click the start button here. You'll probably get a little pop-up saying it's setting up controllers or whatever. Um, but essentially, as long as this is checked here, like I said, it's gonna block keyboard inputs. So, you know, if I, Go over here like I, I can't I can't type anything because it is locking the inputs if you ever while the imp, uh, you know while the keyboard splitter is running and you want to re-enable you can just tap your control key five times you'll hear that sound that's just letting you know that it has disabled and giving you uh, access to your inputs once again but uh, and you can just tap it again five times to block the keyboards once again. Now if I go over to multiverses, you're gonna see this is for one of my keyboards and then the other one, you'll see it says hit X to confirm. Like I said, it's essentially the game is reading it as an Xbox controller right now, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it works perfectly. I've played with this extensively and I've had no issues at all. I'll go ahead and show you. The, the menu buttons are, are a little different because it's mapped like a um, like an Xbox controller, so I have to hit space bar to, uh, you know, advance through the menus here, but, um, I'm gonna hit next. And once you're here, you can go to remap your controls. Keep in mind, uh, since I didn't block the mouse, you can also use your mouse to change any of the settings just to make it easier. Um, but I'll go ahead and set this to default so you'll see the only thing you need to do is remap, go here. I have the keys mapped 
to with the D-pad because mapping it to the control stick has weird results. It's a little inconsistent. Sometimes you get, uh, like you're trying to do a down air diagonally and you end up getting a, a side air instead. So uh, I have it mapped to the D-pad. You can just remap the controls in game like this and it works perfectly as intended. Um, and then you can just hit L on your keyboard to back out. I'll go ahead and just go my other. All right, I'll go ahead and boot up a game just to show you real quick in action. Oh, I didn't remap the controls on the uh, on the other keyboard, but let's see. I'm able to use two keyboards separately, no issues at all. Um, I've also used this with Delphine Oven, which is the program people use to convert. Um, to convert GameCube controllers over so that they uh, they can be used in tandem with one another. There's no issues, no kind of um, interferences or anything with those two programs. I've also played uh, using this program uh, against a PlayStation controller. I've had no issues at all. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this helps somebody uh, if you're trying to set up any local tournaments and you don't really know what to do about uh, multiple keyboard players on one setup. For the time being, until they uh, implement multiple keyboard support into the game, this is what we got. So, yeah, thanks for watching.